Hello YouTube. Just wanted to quickly go over the new detailed surface scanner in Elite Dangerous 3.3. So I've already located a planet using the FSS scanner to find a planet with some geysers and some geological features. So we're going to go try out the new detailed surface scanner and uh, hopefully find something cool. You're going to want to be in analysis mode. By default when you log in you're going to be in combat mode. You're going to just press M to switch to analysis mode. And once you're in analysis mode, as long as you have your detailed surface scanner bound in your firing group, which I do on my number two, you'll be able to use it once you get in range and you're slow enough. So this planet had about 40 plus geological features shown on the FSS scanner. So I figured this would be a good planet to check out. So once you get close enough to the planet, you're going to want to start slowing down as you usually would. And then on the left hand side, you'll see the out of range for the surface scanner. Once you get in range, it'll tell you you're going too fast. And then you could throttle down completely. So we're just going to get a little bit closer before we throttle down. Perfect. So now you can trigger the detailed surface scanner. And what you're going to want to do is you go there, I don't want to, a little bit to the left of the white line in my opinion. And you're going to want to fire a couple and hopefully we get 100% on the first try, but I doubt it because I'm really bad at this. I'm definitely not getting 100% the first try. And there are ways to get 100%, I believe, on the first two shots. It's just I'm not too sure how. There we go. 100% after 4. So you get your efficiency target bonus and then you have 49 signals detected. So you're going to exit the detailed surface scanner mode. Oops. Over to the right side. And then you can see all the geological features on the planet. So you could get to exploring and try to figure out what's on the planet. And I will cover how to get to those geological features and how to scan them in the next video.